hello everyone today we are going to make some interesting fridge magnets so as you can see i've started with some research work then i decided some designs and i drew them on a plain paper so i drew all the easy motifs and then i cut them in kind of stencils and after cutting them i placed them on a foam sheet and then i traced them again and if you're comfortable enough you can draw them directly on the foam sheet so here i am drawing on the foam sheet and now i am just going to cut all of these designs on the foam sheet and this is it now we are going to make four pieces of each design we are going to cut it four times so that it can be a thick enough and we'll put it together and we are going to stick all the layers okay so i'm done with everything sticking in everything so i'm just checking every magnet for finishing now uh, there may be some layers which are coming out and which might not look very finished so i'm just going to trim it off and uh, so that it looks very smooth and finished so trimming off this extra thing is going to make it really smooth and finished and um, see how smooth it looks wow so now i'm just covering it with texture white paint it is available in all the craft stores i'm using camelin uh, texture white paint here so i've covered every magnet with texture white paint and let it dry and i want to and mention a thing here that you can add more features 3d features like in this kettle on the top i have uh, applied another stencil kind of thing and this uh, jar milk jar also has this thing and these uh, fish eyes are 3d and uh, you can see in this mark this drop which i drew there for reference i have copied it down here also and um, in this carrot uh, the top part of the carrot uh, i have made it kind of 3d so this little detail makes it look beautiful so now we'll just paint it in like if you're good enough uh, you can choose your own color scheme if you're not good enough you can always take help from pinterest so and you can change the colors left and right that's not a very big deal so um, i'm just painting it and i'm just creating bases this one was already white so i had to paint it again in white this one was yellow so um, uh, for the dress this stencil i already had actually and um, i made it into a magnet and um, all whatever i colors i had i just manage with them only and don't go for any new colors you can just combine all the colors now i'm just giving little finishing touches uh, and little shading all you have to do is like give little little touches and rub it smudge it with your fingers and um, uh, you're good to go and this doesn't need much of expertise you have to just give little little touching that you can do with pencil colors also if you have pencil watercolors you can do with that also and uh, you don't have to worry it it doesn't get spoilt or anything and it doesn't need much of expertise so you can start off with it you don't have to worry much just start off with it and if anything goes wrong then you can again start with the texture white thing you can paint it white then you can color it and then you can shade it again so nothing uh, there's no harm in trying a new thing you don't have to worry much so this is my mug and i am almost done with the everything i'm just finishing everything you can add little rendering details to whatever you um, draw and uh, blackboard outlines always enhance um, any cartoon character or if at all you have um, any kind of uh, magnet which looks cute enough you can add some rendering some black touches here and there some stripes and everything and don't forget to cover the edges of the magnet too uh, for this teapot i am just um, making a design here and uh, that's totally up to you whether or not 
to go with the conventional traditional design you can just uh, make some dots if you don't understand anything if you feel that you're not good enough in art what you can do is like fill it up with some dots colorful dots or some uh, lines and that's something which everyone can do i believe and um, here on this uh, magnet i am just covering it with pink and uh, some light and dark shades of pink are going to do the justice to this um, shading part and um, this is my milk um, bottle or jar whatever you call it bottle i guess because it has a cap also okay now i'll just put a magnet and i am done Ta -ta -da! So you can make a lot of them for your own fridge and I am absolutely in love with them. I, I want to say that if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot. When I see those likes there, it really motivates me. And if you think, um, please consider subscribing. I will bring more videos like these for you. Thank you so much for today and thanks for watching and bye-bye.